Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Always, and welcome back to Sky Bees. In the last episode, we um, took on the Wither. We fought the Wither, and um, we'll get to those in a second. Uh, we fought the Wither uh, after a disaster that never happened. Um, we were able to de defeat the Wither and get enough stuff so that we can have a Nether Star block. Uh, which is currently being used in here so that we can get, uh, where are they, Wither Honeycombs. Which have a chance of giving us a Nether Star. It's a 50% chance every time we centrifuge one to get a Nether Star, so not too bad. Now, between episodes, I went ahead and not only bred up the bees, um, but also did some building. Um, so we have our last two apiaries that we're going to need. Um, this one is the quote-unquote dark cave so this has all of our mobs so skeletons zombies slime uh ender and creeper i was gonna say there's a, there's a fifth one in there and right now ender ones are kind of important um but it's themed like a stronghold with a little bit of spawner uh style up top and then the other uh apiary that i went ahead and made is over here this is the forest a i think i called it um that one is technically forest b and um it is just some dark oak logs with blue stained glass it looks really nice um and then just some spruce uh slabs up top but it has our rgbs our normal honeybees uh they're all fighting over the same like uh flower the dad craft bees and what else is in here uh, prismarine and icy with a snowball so uh lag spike um quite a few bees we might uh just kind of do some things like we did in there take some of the bees out just for the sake of uh better production but eventually we will turn all of these into apiaries actual apiaries with apiary blocks which is something we can do relatively soon if we look at the apiaries um, all it is is four tier four beehives with a nether star and then um, the higher tiers so after tier two tier threes are four nether stars each so gonna be expensive but uh, they will make our bee production a lot faster so what are we going to work on today so today's goal is to at least get the diamond ring um, if not get close to the angel ring which is what we're really after um and work our way to be able to go to the end and hopefully kill the end dragon either this episode or next episode we'll see on that but um yeah we have a lot of things to do and so we're gonna just jump right into it so i've gotten all the mana diamonds we have all the star metal ingots for the diamond ring uh the only thing we need left is two emerald jetpacks and an armor jetpack now the armor jetpack is not terribly useful. Uh, it's pretty cheap to make, but it's pretty awful to use um, because you need to have uh, gas. Uh, I don't remember if it's hydrogen or oxygen gas that you need uh, for it to work, but it's pretty awful. Um, but to make them is pretty simple. Uh, some steel, tin, uh, that is not, uh, osmium, redstone, kind of the standard things um so let's see if we can't go ahead and make uh two of the armor jetpacks we're also gonna need two steel blocks a uh, little bit of bronze and some diamond dust now the diamond dust is easy enough most of this is actually pretty easy and straightforward so we should be able to make all this um we need the crusher uh do we have any circuits no so we're gonna need a little bit of that um, and we're probably going to want to grab some osmium. So do I have any osmium? Actually, I have a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, honeycombs and all that, that we're going to probably use. So let's see if we can't find, uh, some osmium. As well as, what else are we going to need? So that's icy, lapis. Uh, what does the osmium look like? It is pale blue. It's very similar to the honeycomb. But I don't think we have any in there. Alright, so we're going to go around. And we should have some osmium honeycombs in here. We do. 
All right, so um, that is clearly full of just everything. Do we have, we take some, we'll take the lead, tin, we'll take some stuff out. So we're gonna need some osmium. Uh, we're also gonna need some steel. We're gonna need two blocks of steel. That should not be too much of a problem. One, two. Uh, we have the diamond dust. A lot of this stuff is not too bad. Uh, so let's just throw that in there. And I don't know how many osmium it takes, but then we're gonna need four bronze. Um, eight more osmium turned into chemical tanks, uh, which was also a quest apparently in mechanism. I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, so basic chemical tank, no reward or anything like that. But uh, yeah, this should be pretty easy to make the jetpacks. Um, but like I said, we can't really use the jetpacks. They're not terribly useful to us. Uh, they take a lot of uh, gas, and I don't remember, like I said, I don't remember if it's hydrogen or if it's oxygen, but uh, one of those two is what you need to burn it. So we need steel and tin. Uh, we don't have either of those over here. I know we have some steel. Uh, so let's grab some steel. Do we have any tin in here? No. So we'll have to uh, get a couple of those. And eventually we will get uh, all of the honeycombs processed because it'll be a lot easier, a lot better. Um, the problem is, right now anyways, uh, that we don't have the space to store honey. Uh, honey is kind of what's going to be our bottleneck for the time being anyways. And then we just need some bronze, which, uh, that is Electrum, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so let's go grab some bronze honeycombs. Uh, they should be in here. Let's grab all the bronze. And we don't need much, but it's always good to make some. And this is empty for now, so that's fine. That'll work. Okay. So we should be able to make both armor jetpacks here. And that is the next item completed. So before we get to the uh, more complicated thing to make, which is the Emerald Jetpacks, uh, let's go ahead and make these Ender Crafter, an Ender Crafter and these Ender Alternators. So we're gonna need iron for this, which I know we have a bunch of now. Hey, what is... Okay, so sometimes the bees get out and it's, uh, I believe it's only because of uh, when they grow up. If they are in a block, um, they'll just kind of phase through the wall. So snowball and dead craft. Okay, so I have to keep my eyes open for bees flying around. Now they usually won't like die or anything. They usually don't do anything bad. Uh, it's just a matter of making sure they're safe. I didn't grab, I got distracted and didn't grab the iron. There's a bunch of iron in here. And we're going to grab it all. So, well, not all of it, but we're going to grab a bunch. So, yeah, today's episode is going to be a lot of crafting. I will warn you guys that. But uh, we need five of these. And we're going to need a crafting table. And what else? Three eyes of Ender, so let's get that. And this will make us the Ender Crafter. Now, this by itself, um, for the record, I believe this is a, oh, it was in Extra Utilities a long time ago, and it's become its own kind of mod in this version of Minecraft. So um, what happens with this is if we want to use this to make Ender Stars, which we're gonna need 12. I'm going to need more blaze rods. I don't have any more. Can I get blaze 
powder a little bit better from a crusher, which I don't have. So the answer to that is no. Um, that's okay. We should have some blaze honeycombs. I'm just going to grab a few and we're going to send a few at all because why not? Uh, this is probably full. That's not good. But luckily there's no no honey otherwise. So um, we're just going to need 12 eyes of ender. And we're going to need a little bit more than that. I didn't mean to put the blaze powder in there. Uh, I wanted to put the circuit in there. Uh, so the way it works is if I was to place the nine nether stars we need. And you know what? It would be really good if I could math. Um, yeah, we're going to need a lot more. This is going to get us three. So it's not working, which I, I knew it wasn't going to. In order to get this to work, we need some ender alternators, um, which are not too terrible to make. Um, we are going to need, let's just get two recipes worth. Uh, so we're going to need eight ender pearls. And I think that's it. That'll make four of these guys. And we can just put these nearby and they will power this and it will start crafting. Now, the more we have, the faster the craft will go. But at this point, we mostly need the bees to make us more stuff. Um, we're gonna need more, uh, we're gonna need, let's see, if 12 is gonna get three, uh, we need 24 more. And I don't have quite enough blaze powder but I definitely don't have enough ender pearls I have plenty of blaze rods now though so uh, that is good we just need the ender pearls and we can actually go ahead and drop that one blaze off and the rest of those off so we just need to grab ender pearls which hopefully these guys have been producing um, a little bit that should be enough for what we need so this is gonna get us the ender star eventually um, why aren't you working? Oh, we need glass bottles in there for that. Okay. Um, it'd be nice if those don't turn into anything else, but Dragon's Breath is actually really good to have every once in a while. So, um, cool, we got a, uh, advancement. I had to think about what those were called. Uh, so 24, and then eight, there we go. So that is all the stuff we need, and that is going to get us, uh, the ender stars that we need. So we just gotta wait on this, it'll work eventually, and we'll be good to go. So while we're waiting on that, we're going to make the emerald jetpack and we need two of these so this is going to be a pain um that is not what i want i want the diamond jetpack and then gold um and then the gold jetpack we're going to get from iron Iron jetpack from stone, stone jetpack from wood. So we're going to need the wood jetpack and we're going to need two of them. So let's just start off with this. So we need wood thrusters. So we're going to need a bunch of basic coils. So we're going to need three, six, uh, 12. We're going to need 12 basic coils which is gonna require a bunch of iron and redstone. So, um, I'll tell you guys what, I am going to prep this craft uh, all the way up to the emerald. So it's pretty pretty standard. Uh, we've made a little bit of this stuff before. I believe the capacitors 
uh, require the coils as well. Um, so the basic coils are pretty simple. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make uh, the thrusters and the capacitors for everything and get everything together so that we can make two jetpacks. And then we're gonna take one and we're gonna go off in, I believe, that direction um, for a very good reason. So I'm gonna have to look up a little bit of something and see if we can't uh, do some cool things and hopefully be a little bit more prepared for the upcoming dragon fight. So I'll be back once I have some crafting done. All right, so mostly there. Um, I've gotten a lot of stuff crafted, but unfortunately, uh, we're full of honey again. And this time we're gonna do things a little bit differently. So I don't know why I didn't look this up before, but if we look at the tanks, there is, well, there's a bunch of tanks, which most, most of these are not that great. Um, they don't hold a ton. Um, now black hole tanks are really good. Um, they can hold a lot. They are relatively expensive though. Um, however, there's a quantum tank and I believe this will also hold this 2,147,000,000 millibuckets. Um, that's, it's a lot of storage. And I believe this also holds it, and it's really, really cheap. So it doesn't hurt regardless to go ahead and make it. So that's what we're going to do. In fact, we only need one bucket, and we can make a quantum tank. Now, here is the question. Um, I think if we just break that, it'll be fine. It's already got a ton of honey, and this is working again. So um, we have some fluid tanks with honey. That's fine. Um, we'll throw them in here for now. Uh, but this quantum tank is 0% full. So yeah, it does hold um, the 2 billion millibuckets of honey. So yeah, we don't really have to worry about anything. Um, if I grab these, I do believe what I can do is uh, just come over here and put it in there. No? Okay, I thought it would, uh, maybe that's only extracting, um, it's whatever, but uh, I need more diamonds, so we have a lot more diamonds now, and we can use that pretty much whenever we want. Um, we don't have to worry about anything anymore um, when it comes to storing the honey and all that kind of fun stuff, so leak coils, um, I had to make some what were they called advanced coils which was just gold uh, and all I have to do now is make a couple of these so let's see it is uh, not those uh, 10 of these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, then we can make two of these two thrusters or four thrusters put those in here with eight of the materials and hopefully I have enough emeralds to make the last thing which is the emerald um, ultimate oh oh I didn't look um, those require emeralds all right these are trash I don't know that we can use this for much more uh, we can make platinum energy cells. Yeah, that's pretty useless. I accidentally made more than I needed. Uh, that's okay, though. So, I mean, we have infinite resources. It's not a big deal. We have 38 blocks. I just need to go get some more emeralds. So that's not too much of a problem anymore. But um, we're going to get to the point where we can make the emerald jetpacks. We're going to charge one up, and then we're going to head out uh, to a plains biome I found on the minimap. And the reason why is because we need we need planes. Um, we need we need to get some chickens. Uh, chickens are really important. And in fact, um, let's see. We need eleven of these. We need eleven sticks. No, we need twenty-two sticks. Uh, I've done the math enough times. Let's just go ahead and get this. Uh, throw those in there. Cool. 
So 22 sticks will make us um, what we need for the ultimate coils. We need 10 of these, right? Yeah, so it's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten of these. I, I've done this enough times that I've kind of learned what we need to do. And as long as I don't misclick and mess up again, um, that is oh, not quite enough emeralds. So we are out of emeralds. Let's go grab more emeralds, and then we can. Uh, make the jetpacks not a problem so yeah um the ender star is also done so once we've gone over to uh the location we need to be uh, to get the the chickens once we get some chickens that's what i'm trying to say um it'll just be a matter of putting all this stuff together and heading to the end um at some point and calling it a day basically so um let's grab all this stuff and we should be able to make two jetpacks of each so wood jetpacks i'm so happy that that at least stacked um stone jetpacks there's one and two iron jetpack uh gold jetpack Diamond jetpack and emerald jetpacks. All right, and that is the emerald jetpacks. We have both of them, so that is really cool. Um, one of them we're gonna immediately put in here. Now the other one we could put in there as well, um, but we need to get chickens before we do anything else. Um, so here is the Ender Stars as well. We can put those together, get the Ender Star block, and we're really close to this diamond ring. So before we can go to, uh, before we can make the diamond ring, is that what it's called? Is it? Okay. It is actually called the diamond ring. Um, before we can make that, we need to get this jetpack um, used a little bit. So I believe we can probably charge it in here. It has a lot of storage power, um, 48 million. And while it's charging, um, which we're probably gonna wanna sleep so that our uh, solar panel starts working again, uh, we are going to make some scaffolding. Uh, in fact, we only need one. And this reusable, replaceable scaffolding is super duper important uh, for what we're about to do. So we're just gonna make this and why is it so important? Well, to put it simply, this stuff we can place in midair. That is incredibly, incredibly important and useful because we're gonna fly over that direction. Now, if I open up the map, I have a biomarker, which we can go ahead and show. Uh, I found that there's a plains biome over there. We're in a desert. Um, most of what the like map is around us is desert. You can see it kind of at the bottom. Um, is either desert beaches or ocean uh, but there is a little bit of a plains biome over in this area and so if we head over there with some dirt and make some you know just put some grass down we should be able to get some chickens and so that is kind of the the goal um, now pasture seeds I gotta remember how to make I believe we throw grass in. No, that makes ferns. Um, how do we make pasture seeds again? Oh wait, no, we do throw grass in. It's just it can't have can't have this guy underneath it. So we're just gonna make a bunch of these because they're not only super useful, but we want to have a lot of grass fairly quickly and it would be good to do it that way. So, um, we should be good to fly over there. And then it's just gonna be a matter of, wow, not much, not much power. So, 
Um, I do not know the controls. I'm going to go look at the controls real quick. Sorry about this. Um, toggle engine V. Perk and tool ability. Okay, that is not going to work. Um, controls, key, V. Uh, let's go ahead and not worry about that or that. And let's look at the iron jetpack stuff because I do want to see increased throttle, decreased throttle, toggle hover mode. Can we do T? We can. Okay. So V turns the engine on and then we can fly up. And if we toggle the hover, it's a lot better. And this is a super fast jetpack. So let's just head over here. It's not very far, luckily. And we can just put a scaffolding down and then we can place some dirt and I guess what we'll do is head back over here um, and grab some uh, let's see we should have some builder ones we have a builder one cool okay so we don't need more scaffolding we just need to come over here and it's actually really tricky to fly but let's just make a bit of a platform and since it is during the day uh, that's kind of like the best thing but we can just put some pasture seeds down these will red quite a bit we can do a couple more why not okay so now we go away uh, let's grab a sign I know I could just yeah you know what let's put a mark right here I believe add a waypoint home and then we're gonna change the color oh it does random that's all right we're gonna hide that and the question is has anything spawned yet no so this is a plains and a forest okay that works out really nicely um, so we just need to kind of wait around for passive mobs to spawn and I hope they will um, otherwise I'm gonna have to figure out another way to get chickens because that that's all we need so um, at this point we are pretty much good to go uh, to the end let's go ahead and turn this off so I don't keep flying around um, we'll go check over there in a moment but uh, the last thing the next thing we need is we need to get to the end and to get to the end we need an end cake now that is going to require a normal cake which we can't make so everything is predicated on us getting chickens um because the dimensions yeah end cake it requires a cake um is there any other ways to get a cake starlight trans okay we could transmute um what was that a pumpkin and then we're gonna need six ender pearls uh, turned into eyes of ender. So we could put a crystal lens. And you know, I think we can do that. Do we have any pumpkins? That's the next question. Um, I don't know that we've grown any pumpkins, but I'm pretty sure we have pumpkin seeds. And so what we could always do is just break one of these guys, grab a pumpkin seed. We should have one in here. Uh, fern seeds, carrots, cactus, sugar cane, sweet berry, pumpkin. Of course we do. We have a lot of these. And then just, is it not going to be? Okay, there we go. If we run around it, it should at some point 
Um, maybe. Is there another way? Can we grow these in botany pots? We can. So let's take this out and put that there and it will grow. Uh, how long does it take? A minute and a half. Okay, that's fine. We can throw pasture seeds, I guess, in here. Because, I mean, they are technically, they are technically Batania. Um, and then there's always the chance that this is going to go ahead and grow, but um, we'll figure that out later. It's not too big of a deal if it doesn't work anytime soon, but um, we can set the crystal up. And hopefully be able to get the cake and everything else we need. So we'll get that and then we'll need the linking tool once we have a pumpkin. So um, I guess while we're waiting, we need to get six eyes of ender. So we're gonna need eyes of ender. One, two. Uh, I guess we'll do it that way. <laughs> um, two, three, four, five, six, and two end crystals. So we're gonna need two more of these, and then from there. We're going to need some glass and some, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, gas tiers. Now, I know we have at least one gas tier, but we also have in here um, gas honey homes and the already formed ones. So we'll just grab those. And we'll get a bunch of gas tiers. Um, we should have plenty of glass as well, I believe. Yeah, I put a bunch of glass in here. So we can make the end crystals no problem. And then it's just a matter of getting the cake. And that should not be a problem either. So uh, do we have a pumpkin yet? This should be grown. Okay, that does not work. We need to break this. And put it on a chest or something. Uh, do I have anything lying around? Yes. We'll get a bunch of pumpkins. Why not? So, botany pot. Not as good as a bonsai pot, but still pretty good. And pumpkin seeds. Okay. So we should have the gas tiers to make the end crystals. And we definitely do. And so we just need two end crystals, one, two, and then we have everything but the cake. So once we have the cake, we can do what we need to. So let's head back over to the platform. Has anything spawned yet? No, of course not. <sighs> it's probably going to take some time before anything spawns. I might also need to go this way and let things despawn uh, in terms of all the bees. Uh, they shouldn't permanently despawn, I hope not anyways, um, but we might run into problems getting chickens at this point. Uh, unfortunately, biomes, it's just kind of, kind of the thing. Uh, so let's turn this stuff off, 30 seconds, and then we can try to use Starlight to turn in a cake, and then we can get an uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, end cake, and hopefully at that point we will be able to, uh, next episode, get enough gear together. We need to, I might still keep the Emerald Jetpack, to be perfectly honest, until we get some elytras. Uh, the Angel Ring itself is not that bad to make. Um, the luminescent blocks are glowstone, redstone, and gunpowder. We have plenty of those. Um, advanced components are quite easy. Uh, same with the gold plates, as we just saw. It's the elytras. Elytras are the problem. So we're going to have to get some elytras. And that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, mostly it's going to probably be me off camera, uh, just because it makes a little bit more sense. 
So I don't remember how to use this. And there it goes. Oh, but it's going to, uh, can we pick it up with Silk Touch? No. Ugh, of course not. Why did I think that was going to work? Uh, what other ways can we get cake? We can do solidification or a farmer villager, which we could technically get a villager, but that's a little bit harder to do. Um, so I will tell you guys what. I am going to end the episode off here, and I'm going to, well, just kind of, check every once in a while for some you know what actually before we go let's head back over here uh now there is probably going to be a lot of things on this platform no i mean things should be able to spawn there maybe i'm too far away okay so we have some spiders um yeah i don't know if I need to make this bigger or what, but um, we're going to need to get some, we're gonna to need to get some various components. We need to get chickens. Uh, that is the biggest problem that we're gonna run into, but also if we could get some cows, that would be nice. So I am going to wait around for some animals to spawn and hopefully they do relatively soon and we can, you know, get to the end, get arrows, get equipped with, um, honestly, if we get a bow with infinity, um, if I could get some more levels, that would be kind of the best, but we need to get chickens regardless. Uh, so it's just going to be me, me waiting around for things to spawn on this platform. See if I can't figure out if I can get things to spawn or if I need to do something different or what, but, um, at some point we'll be able to, um, head off to the end and that will be kind of the plan for next episode go to the end take on the end dragon and get some elytra so that is the plan i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next one bye